What I liked about hanging out with Robbie Picard is he knew everybody from uh, the high political officials to newcomers who had just arrived. He took me to one of his favorite new restaurants, a Jamaican restaurant in Fort McMurray. Here's our visit there. What's your name? My name is Maxine. Maxine, this is a Jamaican restaurant in Fort McMurray. It's not what people traditionally think of when they think of Fort McMurray, but I feel like I'm in the islands here with the, the music and the decor, and I'm looking at your amazing food. So how did you come to be here in Fort McMurray with a Jamaican restaurant? Well, it's like I was destined to be here. It all fell into place. It started with love. The love transferred into food, and uh, the rest is just... Second nature. It well, love, you've got to tell me more of the story. What is that? Love for whom? Love with whom? Well, the man of my dreams happened to live in Fort McMurray. He sold me on the place. I got here last year, and uh, in January, we were planning to open up a Caribbean restaurant. Well, that's amazing. Now, there's a lot of great things about Fort McMurray, and it's a gorgeous summer day. It's about 29 degrees today, but about half the year, it's bloody cold here. How do you feel about moving from Jamaica with its beautiful beaches and beautiful weather to Fort McMurray in the winter. I love it. I, I've never met people so warm, so kind. We've put in so much hours into this business, but the reaction from people, the upliftment that you, they give you, it's, it's worth it. Wow. Um, this place does not get enough recognition for the kindness for the people that live here. Wow. It's amazing. I do not feel homesick. This is my home. That's amazing. Yes. You know, I, I mean, I'm from Alberta originally, but I live in exile in Toronto. And I think that when Toronto thinks about Fort McMurray, they have a stereotype that's not based on reality. So you're saying not only did, did you come here for love, but the larger community has been lovely to you. Is that what you're saying? Absolutely. I've met people with courage. Fort McMurray means, Fort means strength. Yeah. And it's only people that have dreams and visions that is what I've come across, the warmest, kindest people here. It's, I don't think there's anywhere else on earth like this. That's, that's how I feel. That's incredible. You're such a booster. Do you talk about the city with your customers? I mean, do, is, that a, is that the general spirit of the city? Is this where newcomers come to, to build dreams? Absolutely. And if they can see that I can do it after being here in, in less than a year, then it's an inspiration for them as well. You know, we feel that an element, a restaurant like this can make people feel at home. There's a variety of people who come here. The ethnic version of this restaurant gives people, they're not as homesick anymore. You know, and that's the thing. I think people don't understand how diverse Fort McMurray is. They think, okay, there's white oil men and maybe some Aboriginal folks, but they don't understand that people come here from all over the world and all over Canada too, frankly. Absolutely, and from I've met people from the smallest corner of the earth to the biggest, and they all want the same thing. They just want to feel at home, they want to feel comfortable, and knowing that there are alternate service and alternate places to eat, and you know, that's what we're here to do. Well, listen, I won't keep you long, because I see you're putting together some gorgeous food here. Let's take a close up. Oh, uh, yeah, tell, just give me a quick, tell me what you got there. Those, that looks pretty healthy. Well, that looks, we do more than jerk chicken. Yeah. We do salads, we do thin crust pizzas, we do wraps. This is an unfinished product. One thing about our restaurant, when you come here, you will taste the love in the food. That is the foundation of what we want to do here. That's gorgeous. So I see some avocado, I see some pasta. That's very healthy. I see some pickled beets. Is that what I see there? That's, that's beets, not pickled. Just the natural taste oh, of the beets. Yeah. That's some of our One Love Pasta Salad. It's all about love when you come to Shea Max. Now, you mentioned the, the jerk chicken. What other uh, island specialties do you have? Curried goat, my friend. Oxtail. We do a lot of vegetarian and vegan. Uh, we don't exclude anybody. All our meats are halal. You know, we just pour. We want everyone to come yeah. in. Well, that's. I mean, there's a lot of Muslim folks in Fort McMurray, a lot so. Of Muslims, yeah. And we don't want to exclude anyone. Well, you're amazing. You're such a booster. I'm so happy to hear that uh, you've been warmly welcomed. I'll let you get back to making lunch because I've sort of <laughs> stolen you away from your real job. But it's so nice to meet you. And you keep up shining that bright sun that, that started in Jamaica but's uh, burning brightly here in Fort McMurray. I just want people to know that 
where they live, it's an opportunity like nowhere else in the world. Embrace it, see the positive of it. That's amazing. Great to meet you. Great to meet you yeah. too, friend. What's your name? Richie. Uh, it sounds like you, uh, you're, I'm going to guess that you're the source of some of the secret recipes here. Am I right? <laughs> yes. I'm from Toronto. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And when did you move from Toronto to here for Memorial? Uh, I'm doing you well, like uh, mm, t almost two months now from oh, yeah. um, the ending of March. Yeah. So you haven't really lived through the hard winters yet. No. Are you scared? No, I'm not scared. I've experienced winter in, 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 um, in Toronto. Yeah, it's okay. So I'm all game. Yeah. Is everyone here friendly to you? And who? Is, are people in Fort McMurray, are they friendly? They're very friendly. Yeah. First time, not in Toronto. It's so far a difference down yeah. here in Toronto oh, really? to come here. Yeah, they're more friendly down here. Nice, warm, yeah. welcome. When, you, when they come in and the way they greet you and yeah. talk to you, oh man, it's awesome well, down here. It's great to hear it. I'll let you get back to making your... Last question. What's your favorite dish on the menu? Jerk chicken. You can feel the love. You know, there's a lot of good feelings in this city, which is pretty incredible. I think it's because people feel like they're coming together for a grand adventure. From Fort McMurray, it's Ezra Levant for the Rebel.media.